If I were to do a show right now, I feel like that's just a four month cut on progress. I hate to be the bear of bad news, but if Sam Sulik thinks that every time he does a show that it's gonna be a four month hindrance to his progress and what he likes the most is getting bigger, then why ever compete? Does he need to compete? Coach Greg, in today's video, people are gonna hate me, gonna trigger a lot of people, but Sam Sulik should not compete in bodybuilding. That's right, I said it, and you know why? Because he doesn't wanna compete in bodybuilding. Yeah, I know you're gonna hate me, but I'm literally watching him made a video that says Sam Sulik's thoughts on competing in a bodybuilding show. When the f am I gonna do a bodybuilding show? Eventually, how about that? I'll tell you this, eventually. And so Sam says, when am I gonna compete? Eventually. He says, why would I want to compete right now? I enjoy putting on muscle. If I were to do a show right now, I feel like that's just a four month cut on progress. And if I compete, that's gonna be a four month block on my progress. I'm not gonna be able to make any gains. It's gonna be four months hindering my development. Yeah, sure, I'll get the experience. Sure, I'll have fun, I'll enjoy it, but I'm not gonna put on muscle for four months. Why is that, Sam? Do you really think that if you compete in bodybuilding that you're not gonna be able to put on any muscle for four months? You just finished a two month cut. And so why is it that you think you won't put on muscle for four months? If you can't put on muscle for four months when cutting for a show, how are you putting on muscle in two months when not dieting for a show? You're still dieting, and so how does it matter? And does anyone think it would take him four months to get in shape to do a bodybuilding competition? He is at most eight weeks out. There's no way Sam would need to diet for eight additional weeks. I mean, Larry Wheels dieted in total for six weeks. Sam Sulik is in incredible shape, yet he thinks he can't get ready for a show that he would lose muscle if he dieted for four months. And so why are you bulking and cutting? Why bulk and cut when you can main gain? He says, I just want to put on muscle. I want to enjoy the journey. I want to keep getting bigger. And so why not just keep getting bigger? Why are we going from 5,000 plus calorie bulks to 2,500 calorie cuts. Does that make sense? This two month cut that I just finished, that wasn't to get show ready lean. That was just to trim off a little bit of excess body fat from the last bulk and resensitize my appetite and stuff so I could bulk harder again now. Think of it. He was already lean in his off season, yet it required two months of, I'm gonna say a hard cut. That is a big cut over a 2,500 calories less than he was eating. And yet it still took him two months to get into a cut to resensitize his body to eating more food. Why? Can we not have some balance? Can we not just main gain? I understand doing a mini cut two or three weeks to resensitize your appetite, perhaps get you more sensitive to eating more food. But does it really take two months of hard dieting in order to prepare your body to eat more food? And during those two months, is he in fact losing muscle? Well, maybe. He states that if he did a show, it would hinder his progress. It would stop it for four months. But yet, Chris Bumstead, who was compared to him at 21, we watched the poses side by side, and I must say, I was highly impressed. I could not believe how Sam Sulik held his own against Chris Bumstead, who was literally a competitive bodybuilder. Sam Sulik, he's never even done a show. Chris had done several competitions at this point, and Sam Sulik arguably looked just as massive and shredded as Chris himself. If Chris was able to put on muscle year after year, competing every single year, how is it that Sam Sulik can't do the same? I don't believe it's correct to think that if you do a bodybuilding competition that you can't make any gains. I don't think that you need to wait until you're in your 30s till you bulked harder than last time for perhaps 10 straight years before you can do your first competition. But Sam does not want to do the competition, and so he shouldn't. In order to do a competition, you need to absolutely want it 100%. You can't go 90%. If you go 90%, you may as well not do it at all. A show will happen eventually. But right now, I mean, I get to focus on the part that I like the most, which is just getting big. And so the part he likes the most, the part he wants to focus on, is getting big. Yet he just finished a two month cut. And so if the party likes the most is getting big, why are we trying to get small? Why are we going on a cut? It's not like he was fat. He wasn't 20% body fat. He was still sub 15% body fat. And so why is it that he had to cut, try to get down to single digit body fat? That is not how you put on muscle. You do not need to bulk and cut to put on muscle. He could have continued to eat 4,500, perhaps 5,000 calories and continue to do that year round. If he truly enjoys putting on muscle, there is no reason to cut down in the off season in order to resensitize the body to put on more muscle. To me, that is a myth. You do not need, let me repeat this, you do not need to bulk and cut to put on muscle. I hate to be the bear of bad news, but if Sam Sulik thinks that every time he does a show that it's gonna be a four month hindrance to his progress and what he likes the most is getting bigger, then why ever compete? 
Does he need to compete? The guy's got a massive following, making tons of money, and so why should he compete? Competing, it's not healthy. Last I checked, bodybuilding, it's not inherently healthy. The things you have to do to get to sub 5% body fat, the body dysmorphia that often occurs, the fact that you're in such a calorie deficit, brain fog, lowered levels of testosterone, irritability, brain fog, lack of energy, loss of libido, these are very huge challenges and the challenges are real. And so why should he subject himself to this if that's not what he wants? And so my personal opinion is why not give this bodybuilding thing a chance? Why not try it one time right now? Perhaps you'll do the show and realize, this ain't for me. I hate dieting to this extent. Why would I want to do it? And so why not find out right now? To me, it's analogous to going on a date, finding out, do you actually like the girl? Why date back and forth for a year without asking any serious questions? Hey, do you want to have kids? Nope, I would never want to have kids ever. Really, I want to have 17 kids. Maybe we shouldn't continue. And so why not find out right now while you're 21 years of age? Figure out if that's what you actually want. Because if you don't, you can cut the ties and just train for the fun of it. And so if he actually wants to be a bodybuilder, the hardest part of bodybuilding is the part where you diet to get on stage. Everything else, relatively easy. Going to the gym, we all love it. Everyone likes to train. Eating, who doesn't like to eat? Cardio, Sam's already doing it. He does 30 minutes almost every single day, which is healthy and happy to see he recommends it to all of his fans. But you will not truly appreciate being a bodybuilder till you've cut harder than last time. Larry Wheels died on 1,200 calories a day for three straight weeks. He was running on no carbs, and now he finally knows what it's like, how it is to suffer, to get shredded more than ever before. And so now that he's done that, he loves it. He wants to keep going. Mind you, he put on 53 pounds in the five days following the competition, which is mind-blowing. It's very unhealthy and making a video on it, of course, but give me some time. I would love to see Sam Sulik do a bodybuilding competition and perhaps not even diet to 5%. Just give it a go, get your feet wet. Remember, you can progressive overload even getting shredded. First competition, compete at 8%. Next competition, seven, then six, take your time. Enjoy the process, see if you like it. You don't have to go to 5% your first show. Just get your feet wet, see if you like it, and if you enjoy it, then you can continue to compete. Not only only that, after doing a competition, you learn so much about your body. What foods you respond to best? What do you truly need to work on? You won't really know till you step on stage. Some people look amazing in the gym in a tank top flexing. Once they get on stage, they realize, hey, I have a very thick waist. My legs don't look appropriately balanced. I need to focus on this. I need to focus on that. Larry Wheel learned a ton about his physique. What does he need to improve on? Where should he focus his attention to the most? And so until he competes, we'll never know if he's a bodybuilder. But perhaps there's one thing in common. Sam Sulik and Andrew Eubanks is they both never competed. Let's see Andrew Eubanks do a competition before Sam Sulik. And so let me know in the comment section, should Sam Sulik enter a competition? Should should he just wait? Should he bulk and cut? What would you recommend if you were coaching Sam Sulik? And remember, if you're 100% natural dieting to single digit body fat, your testosterone levels are probably going to go down. You may in fact want to consider G test or three test. Also for the younger athletes, some of the best supplements, creatine, beta alanine. Don't forget about Seco protein bars. They can help you to stay on track during your diet and they taste absolutely amazing. Lots of protein, low calories, highly recommended. Recommended. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of those two books. And of course, the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book, the harder than last time clothing line. You can get all that on my website. Also free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. It's absolutely free. Head over to my website. And until next time, I am out.